Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's idea, we're going to go ahead and talk about options trading using the TradingView platform. Now, when I say options, I'm referring strictly to futures options. This is a common question that we get here at the AMP Futures Help Desk is what trading platforms will allow you to trade options. TradingView didn't have that feature, but now they do. So we're going to go ahead and show you where to go to access the options feature. On the bottom right corner of your toolbar located in your TradingView workspace, you'll see here on the bottom right corner, right above the help guide or help support button, you'll see this little icon here. And if you hover your mouse cursor over it, it'll, be, it'll, it'll say options. So if we click it, this is going to give you a couple things that you can do. You can build out strategies. You can access an option chain, as you can see here, as well as view a volatility chart. Now, keep in mind, I want to be up front. There are some limitations when trading futures options with AMP futures. You're not going to be able to write options, also known as selling or shorting options, and you're not going to be able to do any spread. So you can pretty much only pay premium, meaning you can only buy options. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and show you first how to identify and search for a symbol for any particular market that you want to search options for. If you notice here in the search menu, if I click, I can go ahead and type in, let's say, for example, MES, H25, or better yet, let's just do MES. And we'll click the little menu here, and then we'll just go ahead and add it into the options menu. So now you have the ability to create different things or look at different things when it comes to micro S&P 500 options. Now, again, the strategy builder may not be too useful because you can't do spreads. You're not going to be able to short options. So really, the long call is really the only thing you can really do, which is a simple strategy to realize a bullish outlook on the underlying instrument. One thing that I want to show you is when you hit create here, it'll actually tell you what a long call is going to do. And it just basically means that you're able to buy a particular strike, whether it's a call or a put, and then you can actually enter the price of the option itself. So you have the ability to create these individual legs for these option strategies if you wish to do so. So here's an example that I've already created one. I'm going to go ahead and delete it for a second and let's go back to it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create and I can call this whatever I want. So let's just call this, for example, long call and test. Hit save. And then once you add a strategy, you'll see your list of strategies listed just like this. And then you can make the changes to the parameters accordingly. And then you can go in and establish the position. Now, once you go back to, let's say, chain and you go back to strategy builder, let's say if you click on add strategy, that's going to take you back to the predefined or preset strategy templates that TradingView has already created for you when you first log into the platform. So these are kind of foundational pieces that TradingView has already created. But again, not very useful because you're not going to be able to do, for example, a bear put spread or you're not going to be able to do a bull put spread. So again, just keep that in mind. There are going to be some limitations when using the strategy builder simply because of the fact that you're not able to short options or you can't do spreads. You can only buy them. However, probably the more important thing that I want to demonstrate is the option chain. If you go here where it says chain, this is where you're going to be able to see the different chains for different days and different months and weeks within the calendar year. So in this example here, today is January 16th. So you can see here, January 17th is going to be tomorrow, which is a Friday. It's always going to be based off the day after the date. So you can see that if I click on it, now I can see all the different option chains that are available specifically for January 17th. Now, if I want to be able to scroll up, you'll see it's kind of hard to see, but if you look, notice, there's like a little scroll bar there. Um, if you have a scroll button on your mouse as well, you can just simply scroll up and down on the mouse wheel, and that will easily scroll up and down on the actual chain itself. One thing that I would probably recommend doing as well is spacing out the actual options page because whenever you open it by default, it's pretty small. Normally it's going to be about this size and you can resize it just by simply grabbing this bar here and just drag it over. So if you want to make it full screen, just drag it all the way over. And now you pretty much have a full screen view of the options feature. And that's going to be, it's going to make it a little easier for you to see the full chart of the actual option chain that you're looking at so again you have calls you have puts you have different pieces of information that you can look at the option chain you can see the strike prices etc and then you also have your volatility charts so again i'm not putting any data at this moment as far as demonstrating again it's just more just letting you know that hey if you're interested in just taking a look at options trading features options on trading view i'm just letting you know where to go to access that feature so the voluntary ch volatility chart very similar to the chain you're just basically going to choose a specific date and that's going to basically change the chart accordingly. So again, going back, let's recap. Strategy Builder, again, if you want to be able to add a strategy or create one, it's morally applied to just long positions only. So a long call, for example, you can simply create one by going to Add Strategy and hitting the Create button for the preset long call template. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to call the template whatever you want. So let's just say we'll call it Long Call 2, hit Save, 
And now you see there's a long call amp test, there's a long call two, and now you're able to adjust the individual parameters of the actual long call strategy. And also to the right, when you start creating and changing the strike prices and whatnot, um, you'll actually see that the, the information will be generated to the right. You'll see a chart and there'll be some nice information that you can look at. I uh, just kind of give you an idea of like, you know, what to, I don't want to say what to expect, but it's more just a visualization of the particular strategy that you're creating. And if you look at the bottom there, you'll see, for example, there's some definitions and you'll see little question marks. So if you're not sure exactly, for example, what's a Delta. So if you click on the little question mark icon, it's going to bring up Delta option Greek within the trading view support guide. It'll actually give you a full definition and examples of what that particular definition is. And that's going to be helpful if you're not sure with some of the language or terms that you see at the very bottom of the chart. And this is pretty much how you access options using the TradingView platform.